What's up, y'all? We back with another video, and as you can see, my client has some hairline issues right now. It looks like his line was really pushed back wherever he got his haircut last, and uh, he told me that he wanted a, a high taper on the side and a high taper in the back. I told him I was going to take it down so that I could try to blend the rest of that in so that's what we're going to do right here we're starting off with no guard with the blade all the way open and i'm just going with the grain right around where um the hair separates into into twists so i, I want it all to be to be light and, and even all kind of the same color tone so that way when it grows back it'll all grow back together we're just knocking all that down all that in the front i thought about going against the grain but then i said like nah i didn't want to uh i don't know i didn't want to lighten it up too much in the front right there so we're just going with the grain see trying to kind of trying to get everything the same color tone And then in the back right here, we got the number one guard on the wall cordless senior. And I'm knocking down everything below where the twist starts. So right where the twist start is where I'm, I'm stopping. And uh, I'm just trying to knock that down without going up into the twist and obviously cutting those off. You don't, you don't want to do that. This is my first time cutting this guy. So he would be pissed if I cut his, uh, cut his twist off. But hopefully, uh, hopefully he, you know, I, I'm pretty sure he liked the result. So hopefully he lets it grow and, and he comes to me next time. So that way we can kind of continue with the work that we did here. I don't want, um, I don't want to see him with a pushback anymore. Here's the zero guard on the clipper going with the grain, getting that behind the ear so that way I can line it up and it can be sharp, getting like that little curly hair behind the ear has to go. And right here we're setting in our first guideline. And he said he wanted a high taper. Um, I gave him like a pretty high, you know, as high as I could. Um, just because I, I want all that hair to kind of grow back so and right here we're not going to do any panels really we're just going to start as if as if the whole thing is one panel so we'll start with the clipper closed and work our way to open little by little as we go up the head just opening the clipper little by little and then after that we'll detail and kind of pluck out the dark spots And the same thing over here, put the bald line in. And we're just gonna open the, the clipper little by little until it's blended. So here we're, we're closed. Open a little. Open a little more. It's pretty much blended and after that you just detail but yeah i think if he lets it grow out you know maybe in like two weeks if he lets his hair grow out i think we'll be good he'll come back it'll be nice and dark around the sides by that time be able to really give them a proper lineup right here we're just gonna do that taper in the back and you you can see that I'm kind of um, angling that that line down as I get to the side um, like closer to his ear and that's because I, I want the I want to be able to when I line it up I want that to be dark so and I want the middle to be as light as possible so it could pop more so you can see the taper is gonna be a little bit darker toward 
the edges than it is in the middle. I, I just like to do that because I feel like it gives the taper more pop when you line it up. And right here, we're gonna do the same steps that we did on the side. We're gonna start from closed and work our way all the way open, little by little. And I believe uh, I'm gonna use the 16th guard next. Yeah, because the the what we originally knocked it down with was a number one guard closed. So this is the half guard. I'm just kind of cleaning up a little bit of darkness right there below the the twist so that the taper pops out but you see how since we left it dark right there i can get a a nice defined line on it as opposed to if that was lighter you wouldn't be able to see it as well Right here, I am doing my absolute best to line him up sharp, but as natural or in, in the most natural spot that it would be at. But this was a challenge, man. See, I'm just trying to sneak that across right there. Look how high they went up on that one side right there. Like, I'm just trying to keep it as natural as possible but also make them sharp so that you know he can look like he got a lineup you know what I mean and here I'm using the and uh, the Babyliss shaver, just to kind of clean everything up. And now we're gonna go to that other side and, and put the line in the back of his neck on the other side. Canvases like this are hard because it looked like he, the the haircut that he had gotten was was pretty recent. It was it didn't look like it was that long ago, given how much hair had grown back um so it probably was like a week ago and then i knocked it down even more and gave him a, a high ball taper so there's not really a lot of hair to work with so you want um i mean you want your trimmers to be set sharp so that the the little bit of hair that is there you can you can cut it and do what you got to do if you've got you know dull trimmers it, you're going to be sitting there all day trying to trying to catch a line on on something that's not really there you know what i mean that's not that's hard really not there to begin with so and right here i'm using color enhancement just because um i want my man to walk out feeling like that I got, you know i got a fresh cut so so we definitely did the whole thing when it comes to the color enhancement here um the lineup And I wasn't really afraid to go too dark just because there, there, there's nothing there to begin with. You know what I mean? So I wasn't really worried about, oh, am I spraying too dark or anything like that? Like, he, my man needs a hairline, you know? See, like, on that side that I was just at, like, they went so high up. You, could, you can even see where it was lined up at you know um and you don't need to do that like you don't need to line somebody up that far back or uh, i don't know maybe that's what's in nowadays maybe that's the style and i'm just losing it but yeah i'm trying to give him the uh kind of like the the c cup with the color enhancement like I said, I want him to feel fresh, feel like he got a haircut, so.
I am using a little bit of color enhancement in the back of his neck right here just to kind of darken that the line that we made uh, darken that up a lot of this cut man like a lot of this cut is just cr creativity a lot of this cut is just you being able to say like, okay, how am I going to, how am I, I, I was given this situation. How am I going to finesse it so that my client is happy? You know what I mean? How am I going to finesse it so that it looks good when I'm done? So now I'm uh, just hitting the line with the 245 razor, cleaning my man up. Now we are hitting them with the, uh, the, the 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 magic pencil, the chalk. I don't know what it. I don't even know what the the name of this thing is called. But um, we're gonna outline it with the pencil. This is just the same same sort of uh, theory behind when women uh, put concealer on their eyebrows. Uh, that you know their eyebrows are dark, but they put the light area around the eyebrow so that way when they blend it in it makes the eyebrow pop and that's what we're gonna do with the with the hairline i'm just gonna use my trimmer right here just to kind of blend it in and then we'll come back with the razor again after that but i don't know if you guys think so i, I do but he his hairline looks a hundred percent better like Look, you can you can you can still kind of see where it was lined up before, but look at how much how much less forehead he has now, you know. Uh, so yeah, we're just kind of blending this out, not trying to really push too hard on the line, but just spread that spread that color pencil, and I feel like it makes the color enhancement itself looks so much like it makes it pop so much more same like i said same way with the eyebrows and then this razor is going to get it real sharp and try to knock all that all the kind of dust away all the powder away But hopefully now, like this guy, you know, next time he comes in and sits in my chair, like he'll hopefully he'll trust me with anything now. You know what I mean? Because I saved him from a jacked up haircut. y'all my client did not come in with the easiest canvas but we couldn't let that stop us so here's the before now check out the after brought my man back to life if you guys enjoyed this video if you got value from this channel uh hit the like button give it a thumbs up subscribe and um share this video with people you know maybe they can get some value from it and hopefully uh we can all grow and learn together so until next time y'all peace